Welcome to the Stutzman Channel. My name is Terry. I have a riding mower that's about 25 years old and it developed a leak on the PTO uh, seal. Now as you may know you have to pull the engine out to replace that seal. I figure with this mower being that old and I got to pull the engine I'm just going to go through the whole thing. So in this case I went ahead I replaced gaskets, seals, o-rings, meaning head gaskets. I pulled the valves out, cleaned them, lapped them. So anything that I see that I could do, I did it. And in the process, I also took care of this uh, starter motor, which I'm going to show you coming up here in a little bit. So while I had it out, I also took care of the deck. And also the uh, mower itself had a few issues, and I took care of that. So let's take a quick look at the engine itself, and then we'll get right on this here starter motor. So here we have a Briggs & Stratton 20.5 horsepower twin opposed uh, engine. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, just about back together. As I mentioned, I've gone through the head gaskets, uh, sump gaskets been replaced, all of the gaskets, in fact, seals, O-rings. And in the process, you know, I'm checking everything. I'm checking clearances on the valves and making sure that all looks good. But anyway, while I'm at it, I had a lot of rust damage, you know, so I had to repaint things, clean rust. Uh, down here, here's a shroud, the blower shroud, so I've gone ahead and painted that. Okay, so here's a mower. I did a lot of painting on the fenders. There was a lot of rust going on, so I took care of that. Uh, my cables here, my throttle cable and my choke cable, they were seizing up, so I took those off and got those all lubed up. They're, so they're moving pretty freely now. Cleaned up the gas tank. Uh, I had to replace the headlight switch. I cleaned up some wiring back here. Uh, one of the things is that this here plastic loom right here, uh, from the factory, they stopped it about right here, so that left about this much of exposed wiring. So I didn't like that, so I replaced the whole loom. I put that in there. Also, these here safety switches. Uh, it's got, this unit has two of them, so I replaced both of these uh, safety switches. And also, another thing that I didn't like was that this whole loom right here, this whole uh, harness, was actually, it could move and just freewheel here, wherever it wanted to go. So what I did is I came back, I got some plastic anchors, and I took and put some 632 screws in here, secured the anchors, locked this here harness down so it would not move. Also, this here harness right here, it had a burnt area in it, so this whole entire loom has been replaced. All right, so let's go over and let's get looking at that uh, starter motor. All right, I just, I'm gonna remove the starter drive. I have already removed the C-clip. Now the tool I use for that is this tool right here. And the part number for that is right there. 19522. It's Briggs and Stratton number. And then here are the directions. And this is the style I have. The style 1. And on the back if you have another type of starter, then you'd use this here method. All right, so since we got the C clip off, first thing that comes off is this here retainer. The C clip fits right down inside that groove. That's a, whereas a groove that's on the shaft. Next comes off is a spring. Next, we have a cup washer. Notice that the cup washer will get installed like this with the cup going up. Next, we have the gear. So the gear will just screw clockwise. It comes off. Notice that their bevel is up on the top and the flat part of the gear is on the bottom so it goes on just like that damn finally we have this piece right here and it just lifts straight off and I've already marked the housing so I can put this back on so now I'm going to be taking out these two bolts 5 sixteenths There's one of them, and there's the other one. All right, so let's go ahead and take this here end plate off. 
Okay. It's pretty dry in there. Clean all that up. Put some grease in it. Now the next one that's going to be coming out is the springs and brushes. That's on this here plastic retainer. So there's the brushes. Okay. Now let's see if we can slide the armature out. Don't see any washers. In fact, this here should just lift right off of there, I would think. Got a bushing in there. That'll be greased up too. Now we have the permanent magnets in here. One, so we have two of them. And that's probably going to hold me from trying to get this thing out. Being careful not to break that thing. Okay. And we can see that we have a flat washer. And we also have a cup washer on here too. Cup is going up. So I'm going to slide those two off. And there is our armature. So I'm going to clean the commutator, clean the shaft, sandpaper, and then we'll put it all back together. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll put this here unit back together. So I'm going to put in a little fluid for film, for lubricant. So we have our two marks it's lined up. Now let's see if we can slide this here armature back in. We have our flat washer and we have our cup washer. It's on the end of the shaft. And I'm going to put a little bit right there. I'm going to be replacing the brush assembly. That's part number Briggs and Stratton 691 293. It is what it looks like. It has retainer pins in here to keep the brushes pulled back so I can slide this assembly on. And as I push it in, these is going these pins will pop back out as you can see right here. Then we will pull them out. And now we're going to be putting on this end plate. So we're going to put a little more lubricant on the end.
I'm going to be replacing the starter drive. This is a Stens number, which is 435. 859. The Briggs Stratton number is 696-541. Here are the instructions for installing the starter drive kit. Now here's the instructions for using the C-Ring installer tool. I'm going to be using this tool to install the C-Ring. You can see the part number is 19435. It's the Briggs and Stratton number. And the tool looks like this. This is the grease that I'm going to be using, putting on the helix of the starter drive. Alright, the first thing we're going to install is the starter clutch. I put a little bit of white lithium grease around this helix. And that's according to the directions. Now we're going to slide the starter clutch until it engages down at the bottom and we push it down next we're going to be putting on the gear with the bevel side up next we're going to be putting a spring on there's a little groove in the gear, so make sure the spring is sitting down in that. Next, we're going to put the cupped washer. Cup goes up. Next comes the retainer. So to use the tool, you can see that there's a little recessed area and we take the C-clip, we put it inside that groove and we want the open end to be aligned to one of the slots. Then we take it and we're going to put it over the top and we're going to drive it down with a hammer. quite there yet. And that that looks good. And you can see what it looks like. So you can see the C clip is around the groove. And the correct operation is that if you take this here gear, it should fall right back down. Before, on the old one, it would go up and you let go and it would just stay there. So that looks, that looks good. Okay, I put a little bit of Loctite on these two bolts. So now we're going to tighten these down to 160 inch pounds. All right, that's it.